Uh, we've been at the school for three years now, very happy with the school. And uh, the reason we chose the school is mainly because uh, coming from, I am French and my husband is Italian, coming from uh, that kind of background, we really wanted to give him an opportunity to have uh, basically doing the, the baccalaureate, the international baccalaureate, which is something that we've done ourselves. And having an opportunity like this in England is, is great. So we could not miss that. And I really feel that Stefano has uh, gained a lot of confidence in himself. He gained a lot of resilience as well. And um, we couldn't be more proud of him. We spent quite a bit of time looking at different schools here in the UK. And one of the comments that we had had and we would now concur with is that schools that focus on just one sort of curriculum, whether that be IB or A-levels or a U.S. A, uh, advanced placement program, those schools that focus on one tend to do that better than schools that try to do two at the same time. And ACS Egham focused and said, said you know, to us, we are focused on providing the very best IB education. With the IB program, I think it's really important that it's a school that executes the program very well. So, yeah, good results, good teachers. Egham was the second school. We visited and we were very impressed by the first school. And then we came here and it was just done. You know, we, we came here and we got out of the car and we looked at each other and we said, okay. My first impression, very green. A lot of green space, a lot of outdoor space. Uh, you're surrounded by the trees and the woods. Uh, the campus is beautiful, facilities are really beautiful. The, there's an amazing football pitch. I like the setup, to be honest. I like it that it's green and that there are different buildings and low different buildings. So it's light and it's open and it gives a sense of um, space. And I think that's important when uh, children are there from, from nine to three or four and, and are in an environment that it's light and open and um, spacious. But we also really like the IB program because it's just really, um, it's very different from my own education. So I had to learn a lot, but I think it really keeps the kids engaged, uh, engaged and curious to learn. And, and they're happy to go to school every day. Yeah. And this inquiry-based education was initially a bit of a, a challenge for them. Well, why am I having to write this about what I learned or how I learned this? But as the years have gone by, and now my elder son has graduated last year and now he's at university, you find that they're very, very well prepared and much more sort of self-aware about how they think, about how they interpret and, and how they learn themselves. I love the happy system. It's, it's very versatile, it's challenging, it prepares kids for the future. Um, so I love the ac academic side of the school. My kids have amazing teachers, really amazing teachers that help them, that inspire them. It's about seeing different things, being a little bit further than just doing just a normal um, GCSEs and then A-levels. So it's really about going deeper uh, and further rather than, than anything else and uh, getting into a different university, I guess, and uh, having the opportunity to get even to an American uh, university, for instance, should it choose to do so. Um, we, we knew we wanted them to finish uh, and graduate with an IB diploma because it would get the best access to university. But the main reason is I think the IB diploma prepares the best for their future. Uh, it's not all knowledge-based anymore. And the world isn't knowledge-based, but skills-based. And I believe, or I personally believe, that the IB program uh, prepares our children the best for a poor future uh, at university, but also um, for their work life. When I look at my kids, I think, um, yes, they're definitely um, independent, um, they keep, you know, amazing me with the things they tell me <laughs> and surprise me with these sort of quotes and things that I'm like, hmm, 
interesting. I don't think I knew that when I was your age. Or... We've been really pleased, and I think uh, particularly my younger son, who's in his senior year here at ACS, is has made an amazing transformation for someone who really wasn't that interested in academics to someone who has thought very very carefully about what he wants to achieve in his life, in his career, and has applied himself, I, I think more than I had ever anticipated him applying himself, to not only his studies, but what he wants to do and being very focused. French, Spanish, Italian, and so on, there are a lot of different nationalities, and it's really nice to be able to find ourselves pre-COVID around a barbecue or a meal with those other parents or even have the opportunity to go for a walk with them and really get to know one another and discover what it is um, to, you know, for them to be in another country, but then suddenly to arrive here in England and, and discover the new, uh, the new school in a way. My kids are friends all over the world. Even though the world is, is, is very big um, and their community is big, it's also small because they all tend to meet up everywhere in the world, so so that's really nice. Um, doesn't really matter, you know, what your beliefs are or where you're from. So I think for my kids, that's important. You can be who, who you want to be. You know, uh, the friendships that our sons have made are with people from all over the world, and the friends that we are making and the parents that you make are from all over the world. And I, I just think, you know, it, it, it opens one's mind and you are exposed to lots of different people with lots of different perspectives all coming together. And you find actually that there's a tremendous amount of common understanding and you, 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 you build these bonds and connections with folks. The school isn't very big, so it's I think approximately in high school 60 kids per year um, but the dynamics is just lovely and um, yeah my kids just found a friend group immediately and, and we're just happy. Three different curriculum uh, after school um, at the moment he's involved in basketball so three times a week he's actually staying out there yesterday evening he had another match he absolutely loves it uh, he likes being with his friends he has really um, become a different person since, since he's been here and um, he, he loves it. He absolutely loves being at ACS. What's really important is football. My daughter and my son are both heavily into football. <laughs> so we needed a school with a girls football program. And um, we found that here. And to be honest, if you move a child from, you know, a teenager, um, for us football was a lifesaver. It was really important for her to feel connected with the other kids other than the school hours so definitely helped my son also does fencing which is very new he never done fencing before um, but he got the opportunity he said he wanted to try and we had our first fencing tournament last weekend and it was really great so both of my sons and who started from very young age have been playing tennis so they've been in, very engaged in uh, the tennis program and the uh, tennis teams uh, after school, and they've represented the school at, at different activities. They've also took up volleyball uh, and were fortunate enough before COVID when we could all travel a little bit more easily to go to Lisbon, Portugal to represent the team. Uh, and that was a great experience for them. I love the sports area. I, I, I just, I was blown away when I first walked in there and I have sporty kids so uh, I knew they would be happy going here after seeing the sports facilities. Don't hesitate, this is actually one of the best schools you can ever invest in. I, I will never look back. I have found that the school have really given a lot of resilience throughout Covid, throughout the pandemic. If I see what my children have done during their secondary year school years, those were things I started learning when I worked after UE. Uh, you know, excellent IB education, great facilities, and a nice community. I think ACS Egan is a really good choice. Yeah. And it's a pretty unique place, and I, I can't think of too many other schools that would have a similar environment. Uh, to ACS Egan. 